hello 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 welcome back to the channel welcome to my channel if you are new here i am daquana white i bring you plus size fashion content as well as lifestyle and beauty content so this week i am bringing you of course my weekly asop haul where i try on their new arrivals in a size 3x i do leave the links down below and i will have my coupon code pop up which is the dash white 25 in most cases asop typically has a sale on their site so sometimes their sale is worth more off than my coupon code so keep that in mind again all those links that i well everything i try on will be linked <laughs> down below a few housekeeping i did play with the brightness a little bit because i felt like before the true colors weren't always picking up so hopefully it's not too dark i think once I export it and stuff, we'll have some good colorways. But um, yeah, you get a little more saturation here. Uh, another thing, I made an amateur mistake today. Y'all probably don't care, but I'm gonna tell y'all anyway. I left my freaking remotes at the house for my other, for my two phones over here that's doing like my TikTok and my pictures and stuff. So all I have is my camera remote. So it's cool, amateur mistake, amateur mistake. Usually I leave them here, but I was filming my podcast. I mentioned to y'all that I did launch my podcast. It's always linked in my description now. Also on my head is my Diana unit from Thrifty Slay. She's slaying. I said Diana. I be forgetting her name. It's either Diana or Diana, but I think it's Diana. <laughs> but anywho, 18 inches and she's bomb. It's loose wave hair. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and hop into this haul. I don't have any more housekeeping for you all. Y'all seem to love last week's haul and I love that haul as well. I have dresses, jumpsuits, and two-piece sets to get into. So let's first start with this bright number here. It's not really bright, but it's definitely vivid. It's definitely given. Um, this is something on the site where if I look at it on the site, I probably would never, <laughs> never, never think to get it. Um, but when I got it, you know, put it on and it's giving. It's everything. Again, I love the bold brights because usually we are browns, olives, creams and tans, blacks for the fall and the winter. But I love this. You can put on some tights. You could unbelt it if you don't want it belted. But I think it definitely looks better with the belt. Does have about three functional buttons up here. But this color combo, the sleeves are dramatic. Like, look at that super dramatic sleeves i like the flare at the bottom it's really fun really flirty and it's very very effortless like i love things where i could just put on a comfy spandex short just you know because it's a little short <laughs> um and be content i do feel like you probably gotta iron or press your sleeves to get them like shaped if you want to because um you know they do have to be shipped to you and it has to be flattened so keep that in mind this is how the back is looking a little short but not the worst to be honest and like i said i would just definitely have on a spandex short so that is this first dress here and let me also mention really quickly that last printed dress it doesn't have stretch at all so it's just really roomy and really airy okay um but just keep in mind it doesn't have stretch if that's what you're looking for in that dress so um and even without the stretch i didn't feel uncomfortable i didn't feel like it was tight or anything like that so i just wanted to mention the material is more so like a stiff like all cotton material here we have this dress this one is so so cute um i love the color mustard i could live in for real for real um i kind of forget about it sometimes but then when i get it on i'm like oh my gosh i forgot how much this was such a beautiful color so you see what i just did there where i cinched it in there i wish this kind of came with a belt but nonetheless i could add my own belt i could add like a jewel type of belt like a um a chain belt i couldn't think of it <laughs> a chain belt i think that would be really really cute but then again it's also one of those things where it's kind of effortless and you don't have to do too much like you can just have it more so like in slouchy chill mode i think this would look really really cute with a booty with an over the knee boot even a heel will look nice and honestly you can get away with a sneaker i know a lot of people don't like sneakers and dresses but i'm definitely a sneaker and dress girl okay i think that would be really really cute so one thing that really sold me on this dress was the off the shoulder portion i tend to struggle with some dresses some tops that's off the shoulder. I cannot stand when they constantly ride up. 
so i won't have that issue here because this actually is functional this string you can tie it to your liking you can have it as um high or low as you want it and i love the grommets and how the string just kind of makes it a little ruffly up here this is like a knit material it does have stretch um i do feel like it will conform to you i like how the baggy well i like how baggy the sleeves are but like i said i think this will conform to you in a comfy slouchy type of way uh something i wanted to mention what is it Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to mention. <laughs> so I know some people, especially over on TikTok, people are like, oh my gosh, like, um, does the body come with the clothes or, uh, you know, your figure helps you body everything or whatever, you know? And I don't feel like just because I'm more so bottom heavy that things look better. I feel like I try on a range of things that will fit every body type. I don't I also don't think that you have to conform yourself into a certain line of fashions just because you are apple shaped or pear shaped or hourglass or whatever the case is. I feel like we should have the freedom to wear whatever we want. This is not a speech or anything, but I feel like I am very fair across the board when I try on clothes. I don't just try on things that I feel like will look nice on me. I also step out of my comfort zone and try different things that you guys may like too okay so this is what the back of this dress looks like I mean at this point you can go ahead and say I have a fetish for leather just go ahead just I absolutely love leather I have to get everything leather <laughs> like everything I see on ASOP and I'm like oh I might be able to get into that one and it's leather give it to me so this one actually said moderate stretch and for some reason, I actually believe them this time. <laughs> like last time when I had those um, like frill or ruffle pants on, were they fringe or ruffle? I feel like they were fringe. Whatever. <laughs> but um, I was like, oh, this is definitely more so like a moderate high stretch. So this one does feel a little more moderate stretch. Um, it does. I will say, I will say it has less give. I just feel like it has a little more structure. So a little more constriction, but I was still able to, you know, get it on. I couldn't step into it. I had to put it over my head because this zipper here actually only comes like right here. So I couldn't like step into it, which I typically love to step into my dresses. Either way, I don't care. This is fire. It's a lot of room in the arms. I think it's supposed to give like that scrunched rouge effect just like the dress and i will say i feel like i'm not getting too much of a scrunching effect because um it is a moderate stretch so it has to stretch out a little bit more to get up on me but i love the length of this i love the functional zipper here super duper cute this is how it looks in the back okay this one is giving body adi adi i love her she's super duper cute um definitely edgy definitely given fall and winter i think this could uh be pulled off with heels over the knee boots um even though it's a long dress i've been in that phase of wanting to put on longer boots with longer dresses who am i i am changing okay late 20s hello but no um i think some dr martins will look really nice heels some boots um like the knee boots i was just talking about I think this can go with a range of things so that is this dress here okay 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 so here we have this like maxi body kind dress she's super cute she's definitely giving fall i could see like a tan moto jacket or um some type of cropped jacket with this and then still with the boot i could still see this with a booty or a boot like a knee boot i think this is super duper cute um i love the colors the orange the yellows well mustards creams browns i think it's, it's definitely fall it's definitely thanksgiving dinner worthy love this one it's super super stretchy really really breathable i will say you get a little bit of wiggle and jiggle so it's not so constricted i couldn't wear a legging under it though i would have to wear a spandex short or slip or something or like a brief because in the back it does have a slit now this instance i don't mind a slit because it's not showing much of anything so i can get away with that but yeah so that is this dress here it's really really stretchy really comfortable and it almost feels like 
uber lightweight to the point where i feel like i don't really have anything on it's not clinging to the skin and you know just itchy or anything like that which you can have that problem with some dresses and the material is like a ribbed material so that's this one here and i like that it's mock neck so it's not touching my double chin rubbing my makeup all on it so yeah i like that about it as well so here we have this jumpsuit uh, of course a white brow wasn't the best idea with this one here she is a sheer piece i'm not gonna hold y'all and i saw that on the model but i actually wanted this as a layering piece like i'll wear black <laughs> underwear um a black bra if need be but i wanted to use this like as a base so i could put a trench on top a peak coat a puffer anything like that but the only thing i would have to have on something that's long enough to cover my butt because like i said it is a little bit sheer back there but i had no hope in this i had no faith i didn't think it would fit um i was able to zip it by myself and all of that so i was really happy about that and it is really really stretchy like i didn't think it would have this much stretch it said high stretch but when i saw it was kind of sheer on the model i was like hmm is that more so like a constricted stretch like a you know so yeah i was happy that this is comfy cozy stretchy i don't feel like it's pulling in my torso or pulling in the crotch area or anything so i like that this one here definitely again a layering piece okay not something i would just walk out the house in this because i know all my goods will be on display especially in the back there so yeah even though it looks really nice on the body I don't think it would be functional unless I wore like a black legging underneath, which I feel like kind of defeats the purpose, but I would if I wanted to and if I had to, you know, so <laughs> that is this jumpsuit here. So as I said, she would be a layering piece. So this would be perfect. I think a statement knee boot or a statement booty and purse like that could be fire. Absolutely love this. The shape of this trench is so, so nice. And I think it's because of the material. Typically when we come across a trench, why do I say across like that? Typically when we come across a trench, it's like that swishy material, you know, like raincoat in a sense material. But this one is like a smooth stretch satiny material and I love that. I also love that it has pockets. At first I was like, oh my God, it doesn't have pockets. But the pockets are perfect. The length is perfect. The amount of wrap around, the little pleat, like ruffle detail that's kind of given there, like the movement. She's definitely like, I'm a powerhouse. Okay. So, yeah, I love her. Um, it does come with this belt, which I feel like is needed for any coat, especially like a long trench coat like this. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention though, uh, it does have, like, when you flip it over, if people are paying attention and you know the wind is blowing and stuff. It might show like this white piece. So I was like, you know, I wish it was just like a black piece. Um, but I think it's supposed to be like folded under. So maybe if I fold it under correctly, I won't be able to see it. But yeah, other than that, length, beautiful, material, beautiful. It's really perfect for down here in North Carolina because the weather is up and down. So it's definitely that piece where if I put it on, I won't be sweating or too hot. But I also um, in the cold or cooler weather, like right now, it's nighttime. So when I leave out, this would be perfect because it's still not freezing. But it's a little chilly and I feel like this is good for that. So, yeah. Love her. Love her. Okay. <laughs> this is the back. Looks so good. So, so good. Definitely got to keep her around. Okay. It reminds me of a duster mixed with like a, a dress coat. I don't know. See, ASOF gives in the summer. ASOF gives in the spring. But I think ASOF might have a favorite season like myself. <laughs> they must love the fall and the winter just like I do. So they have two favorite seasons like myself, okay? So here we have this two-piece set. So I will say the bottoms, I do feel myself like pulling them up like that. But y'all, I love the shape of this. Like, I, first of all, I love wearing white, so <laughs> there's that. But I like the shape that this gives. It's still like real sexy, but still um, not modest, but you know, a little covered up. It has a nice amount of material to it. Um, now I have on just like a real dainty bra. It doesn't offer any support or anything like that. Um, and I think it actually works with this set. Now I would probably do my MK bra just for some lift 
or you don't even have to wear it like you know super sexy like this you can definitely put a cami underneath like a cream or like the same color this is giving like an off-white in person but you can definitely do like an off-white or a cream cami underneath or you can do a pop color you don't have to have your you know yiddies out even though i know some people be like we want more cleavage so i'm like i'm giving you more cleavage and people are like it's too much cleavage so yeah you can't please everybody okay <laughs> but with that being said i love this i think this is gorgeous i love the shape of it i don't know what event i will wear this to but i would definitely wear it this is how the back is looking shape really nice I do feel like the pants kind of cut low and they are a little bit sheer for me so that's my only thing okay so here we have this set um this color was actually the reason why i altered the brightness on my camera because um i feel like the pinks show up more neon than what they are it's giving a little neon but i feel like it's definitely a deeper pink in person um i love it though i love that it has pockets i love the ruffle um the only thing i will say is i wish it was a little more snug you can see that's the true color so the only thing i would say about this is i wish the leg part like near the foot was a little more snug but other than that i have zero complaints i was actually surprised by the stretch that this item had it is a thicker material it's not sheer i love that it's not that lightweight slinky spandex material because i feel like it would have been sheer and looked like a little cheap um the ruffles are real cute they are kind of minimal on the edge and like i said when it comes to like fringe and ruffles and stuff it may look you know may look wider but I don't think that's a bad thing. But I know people like to look like they're taking up less space. And whatever the case is, child, take up all the space you need. Okay. But anywho, like I said, it has pockets. Functional zipper up here. I will wear silver jewelry because it is silver hardware. Love that the ruffle is here and not here. I think that was a nice play with the ruffle. And I like that the arm or the cuff of it is uh, scrunched just like the bottom is scrunched. But like I said, I just wish it was a little tighter at the bottom. Um, to give it more of a jogger feel and this is how it looks in the back okay coming through thanksgiving rich auntie who cooks the bomb freaking mac and cheese okay this this is giving uh, um and it's something totally out of my range one i don't wear too much animal print so i'm definitely not gonna do animal mixed with other like it's just out of my vibe out of my range out of my comfort zone but when I put it on, I was happy that it wasn't cropped. And I immediately remember, like, when I started putting it on, I was like, oh, this, that set. This, that set. I remember this one, <laughs> okay? Because I was intrigued by it. Definitely modest, like, but still, I'm that girl, you know? Um, I like how covered it is. I feel like you don't have to do too much. Pop and shoe. What color purse would y'all do, though? Comment down below. Would you bring out the green? Would you bring out the gray? Would you go with something simple like a black? Would you overdo it with an orange? I don't think I would do orange with this. But yeah, comment down below what purse you would wear with this two-piece set. But anywho, I like that the belt is attached. And I like that you bring it across because you can definitely get lost in this set. Because it's a lot going on. Colors, prints, all of that. But yeah, super comfy, a stretchy, lightweight material. Really cool, really airy. Doesn't quite cover the butt, but does have a little piece a little slither of something back there okay so that is this two-piece set here okay definitely rich auntie at thanksgiving dinner who makes the bomb mac and cheese i'm gonna reiterate that oh y'all know y'all know i love this okay y'all know <laughs> so this is really really cute first of all the length of the pant is really nice as you can see, it does look a little more faded in the parts where it had to stretch the most, okay, <laughs> over the tummy, butt, and thighs. But I still will wear these. I don't care. I love them so, so much. I think the, yeah, see the back of it is like a white material or a white color. So that's why you can definitely see through it and it's fading and stuff. Outside of, of course, I had to stretch into it. Either way, bomb.com. I will wear the pants by themselves. But I don't mind this as a set. Like, I think this is perfect. I feel like it's not doing too much, you know? Because if it was the same print, I'd be like, uh, 
I don't really mess with that. But actually, I've noticed that Aesop tends to do like these mix and match prints and um, like solid color tops now because last week I had that printed skirt with the orange top. I had those printed pants uh, like a month ago with the orange top and I like that they play with, you know, bringing out the colors that's in the bottoms but not doing too much. So yeah, that is this here. The pants are stretchy. A little more constricted around this area, but I like that. I think it gives a nice shape. Looks really pretty. Um, it could easily have been, I feel like if it was like a matching set like with the button down top, it could have gave pajama. But now it's just giving fun print pant, cute top. Like, she's cute. She's really, really cute. Love the length of them. I'm 5'4". I keep my measurements on dwlooks.com. So, yes, yes, yes. Super cute. Let's see how it looks in the back. Yeah, see, it gets a little lighter around the butt, but I don't care. I still love this. <laughs> I still like this outfit. So that actually concludes this haul for this week. Like I said, ASOF clearly has a favorite time of the year, just like me, because they are definitely coming through. They came through in the summer, but baby, these pieces, these, these are fire. Okay, they're giving. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. My coupon code is D-White25. Please remember to check out my new podcast, The Delicate Dynamic. I have a new episode coming Sunday or Monday. Probably Monday, but I'm editing it tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. All the links to everything I tried on will be down below. On my head, it's Thrifty Slay. Okay, she'll be linked as well. But, yeah, that is this haul for this week. Let me know what your favorite piece was. And I guess let me know what your least favorite piece was, too.